Hello everybody, in today's episode on Greynificent, I will be talking about how to use the Minolta XD11 or XD7 or just regular XD because they are the same exact cameras, just different markets. So I will be talking about how to use this camera. And on the bottom here, we got the film release over here and under here. We got the battery. The XD series uses two such batteries. These such D303, 357, 768 batteries. In the description below, I will uh, mark down all the information, all different uh, types they are called. So, you know, you need two of them. So, starting from the rear of the camera, this lever over here blocks the viewfinder. That's sometimes helpful if you want to prevent light coming in this way it's uh, used mainly for longer exposures so you don't have any light leaks going in uh, this way onto the film the mirror is up so it shouldn't be leaking any light but there is still some light leaks possible so this blocks out the light coming from this viewfinder so on longer exposures it don't hurt it so on the top here this is your rewind knob that's used to rewind the film it goes clockwise to rewind the film back into the cartridge also you open up the back doors by lifting this up as well how to load film into the camera that would be linked in a video in the description so we don't have to make this video too long if you already know how to do that on this side over here you got the exposure compensation and if you want to change the iso you have to press this button over here and then rotate the knob here of course this is a hot shoe for your flash and on the right hand side here we got the three modes we got manual that's completely manual you set your aperture and you set the time and the camera takes the photo the way on the settings you set them to. The next setting down, that's aperture priority. That means that no matter what time you set here, the camera will decide for itself what time it chooses depending on the aperture you set here. The next setting down is shutter priority. That means you have to change this to the green marking over here, F22. And now you decide what time you want the camera to take the photo on and it chooses the aperture depending on the time and the metering of the light that it decides to use. So you decide about the time, the camera decides about what aperture to use. Remember to set it to F22. In shutter priority, the bottom screen below the viewfinder tells you the aperture that it's set at. The lens has to be set Set to f22 on shutter priority but on the right hand side the camera will be telling you approximately what kind of aperture it will be using for this exposure when you change it to aperture priority the bottom screen still shows you the aperture you have chosen but now the menu on the right hand side changes and it will be telling you what shutter speed the camera will be using for this setting if you will be overexposing you will see an arrow up indicating that you need a faster shutter speed than the camera can handle in order to expose properly. And same goes for the arrow down. It means that you're underexposing more than the camera can handle with this automatic exposure setting. On complete manual setting below the viewfinder, you see on the left it shows the aperture chosen. On the right, it shows you the shutter speed you have chosen. But on the right of the screen, the meter tells you the suggested shutter speed you should use for this aperture setting. And so on the time dial, X is for the flash sync for Minolta flashes, B is for bulb, obviously, and O is for mechanical shutter. It's 1 100th of a second uses only mechanical shutter because if you do any other time it's a mechanical shutter that's electronically controlled so if you run out of battery or something like that you can set it to O and at 1 100th of a second you will be using completely mechanical shutter. That's also one way you could uh, unlock your shutter if it freezes at any of these times. You could just change it to O and fire again and that should fix the problem. If not it might need a deeper repair. And of course in this window over here, we got the film count. Every time you change it, you wind the film, the count goes up. And on the front of the camera here, let's start from this side to take off the lens first. This button up over here on the top, you press this in to release the lens. You press it in and turn the lens counterclockwise. 
just like that. And inside you got the mirror. You can see how it works, just like that. Let's turn it to bulb, just like that. So on the front here, you got the timer. If you pull it down and you advance the shutter and release, it should be a 10 second countdown to release the shutter. And this button over here on the bottom, below the button to release the lens, the very bottom button, that's for a depth of field preview on the lens. And this over here in the center, that's the the flash port. If you connect a flash that doesn't connect through the hot shoe, just through the cable. So this is your flash port. To put the lens back on, you get this red circle, align it with the red dot up here and turn it clockwise. Just like that. So that my friends is how you use the Minolta XD film camera. If this video was helpful to you, a subscribe would mean a lot to me. What that shows me is that I'm creating helpful content. Thank you for watching my friends, see you in the next video, take care.